Hello everyone, how are you today? I always hope that everyone is safe and healthy. Today, we are going to continue our discussion, the solar system. Yes, in the previous discussion, we have learned about the sun and other objects in our solar system. Do you still remember what is the central object in our solar system? Yes, the sun. Very good. Do you still remember why the sun is classified as a star? Aha! It is because the sun gives off its own light. Very good. I guess you also remember about asteroids, meteoroids, and meteorites, don't you? Good. I'm glad that you learn so well at home. So let's get started. Now we are going to explore planets. Please open your science textbook page 157. Science textbook page 157. Found it? Good. Okay, how many planets are there in the solar system? Yes, there are 8 planets. Then, what are the planets doing in the solar system? Mm -hmm. They are moving. Yeah, the movement of the planets in the solar system. As you can see in the animations, planets are moving around. All planets in the solar system move around the sun in specific elliptical paths called orbits. Elliptical path means circular path. So the path is circular. Pay attention to each movement of the planets. Okay? Next, planets are moving on their own path. When planets revolve around the sun, we say that they are orbiting the sun. To revolve means to move in a circular path. Therefore, there is an arrangement of the planets. Look at the picture. According to their, uh, to their distance from the sun, the planets are First, we have What is it? Yes, Mercury It is the closest planet to the sun Mercury is called the swift planet because it moves quickly around the sun the second, we have, yeah, Venus. Venus is also called morning or evening star. Sometimes people see Venus as the brightest star in the, in the sky at the night. The third planet, I guess you know what planet is it. Yes our earth yeah it is the only planet known to support living organisms do you still remember why very good it is because water exists on the earth's surface besides 
the Earth has good temperature. Since the distance is not too far, not even too close from the sun. The Earth has one moon and rich of oxygen because we have atmosphere. The fourth planet, what is it? Yes, Mars. It is also called the red planet because of the red soil and rocks. Look, it's so red. Then we have Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet. Therefore, it is called the giant planet. Look at Jupiter. Next, Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet in the solar system. It looks beautiful as it has a ring around it. However, Saturn is made up of ice and dust. The seventh planet is Uranus. It is blue in color and made up of dust. Uranus. The eighth and the last planet in the solar system, Neptune. It is the farthest planet from the sun. So, that is the arrangement of the planets in our solar system. Now, it's time to watch a video. Please click the link I have attached here. There is a video from Dr. Pinots. So please pay attention. How's the video? Yeah, cool, right? Yeah, I know. Dr. Pinox is one of our favorites. I hope you can understand the explanation well, and if you have any questions, please post your comment in Google Classroom. Now, it's time to do the practice. Read carefully and follow the instruction. Okay? If you're done, please submit your work, and I'll be waiting for that. So. That's all from me today. I'll see you again in our next discussion with science. Okay, thank you for listening. Goodbye, everyone.